Now let's discuss about the electric dipole and the electric dipole moment. If you consider about the electric dipole and electric dipole moment, two equal and opposite cha charges separated by a very small distance constitute an electric dipole. The examples for this one is water, ammonia, carbon dioxide, chloroform molecules are considered to be some of the examples of permanent electric dipole. You can see here the examples which we have defined. These molecules, if you see, so these molecules behave like the electric dipole. The reason is that because of the centers of the positive and negative charge that do not coincide and it is separated by a small distance. You can see the molecules which is separated by a very small distance. Let us derive the electric dipole and electric dipole moment. Two point charges considering plus Q and minus Q. So you can see minus Q and plus Q are kept apart at a distance of 2D. The magnitude of the dipole moment is given by the product of the magnitude of one of the charges and the distance between them. If you see this one, the magnitude of the dipole moment is given by the product of the magnitude of one of the charges and the distance between them. Therefore, we can define that the electric dipole moment is P equal to Q into 2D or is 2QD. So this one is a vector quantity and it is acting from minus Q to plus Q. So the unit of dipole moment is coulomb meter. So you can also find how the electric dipole and electric dipole moment will be. If you consider AB, so this is a point indicating AB. So AB is an electric dipole of two point charges minus Q and plus Q separated by a small distance which we know very well is 2D. So if you see here, P is a point over here along the axial line of the dipole at a distance r from the midpoint o of the dipole that is the electric dipole the electric field at a point p due to plus q which is a charge placed at b is defined as e1 equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into q divided by r minus d square which is along bp So, apart from this, you can see the electric field at a point P due to minus Q placed at A, which can be defined as E2 equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught Q divided by R plus D the whole square along PA. So, this is the point which is indicating PA in the axial line. From these two points, E1 and E2 act opposite in direction. Therefore, in terms of magnitude of a resultant electric field E acts in the direction of vector with a greater magnitude. The resultant electric field at P now can be indicated and defined as E equal to E1 plus minus of E2. By substituting the values of E1 and E2, we will be getting 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q divided by R minus D square minus 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q divided by R plus D whole square which is along BP now. Considering this equation which we have seen before we can take the common thing that is Q 4 pi epsilon naught. So by taking Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught, so inside the bracket we will be having 1 divided by R minus D square 
minus of 1 divided by r plus d square which is along bp. So now taking r minus d square and r plus d square as the LCM which is r square minus d square the whole square. The numerator part will be r plus d square minus r minus d the whole square. So by applying the formula that is a plus b the whole square formula over here it's r square plus d square plus 2rd in a similar way by applying the formula a minus b the whole square in terms of r minus d the whole square it will be r square plus d square minus 2rd which is defined and indicated over here. So if you see here plus d square and minus d square is going to be cancelled over here. Now the equation will be q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught and we have 2 rd to rd that is nothing but 4 rd which is indicated and since the r term and d term has been cancelled so we will be getting only 4 rd in the numerator side and in the denominator we will be having r square minus d square the whole square so e equal to q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into 4 rd divided by r square minus d square the whole square along bp along bp if a point p so if we consider this one so if the point p is far away from the dipole then d is lesser than r so therefore, we can mention and return the equation as E equal to Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into 4 RD divided by R square. So on cancelling R divided by R power 4, so we will be getting Q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught into 4 D divided by R Q. So if you see this one, Substituting the value for D from this the electric dipole moment we knew that P equal to Q into 2D. From this we can get the value of D by substituting over here. So the value of D will be P divided by 2Q. So we can substitute instead of D. So P divided by 2Q. On cancelling Q and 4 and 2 we will be getting 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught to P divided by R cube along BP. So now E acts in the direction of dipole moment. So you can partly see how the dipole moment is all about.